Fit 10 Nation, it is day six of the Fit in 10 challenge. And um, you guys are gonna send me your weekly feedback this week. So I will send you the link. I'll uh, maybe put it in this video, um, or I will at the very least put it out in uh, Slack, the Slack communication group. So you can click on that link and fill out the form. Uh, the link is www.trainonmain.com slash fit10. There is no hashtag in that, and fit10 is one word. Um, of course, 10 is numeral 10. Okay, so www.trainonmain.com slash fit10, no hashtag. 10 is a is the number 10, like like one zero, okay? Um, all right, I wanna talk to you guys about, oh, uh, one thing I wanted to mention, when you give me your weekly feedback, give me something concrete that you are going to improve upon. So one of the questions in the form, and I think there's five things you have to fill out, is what is something you're going to improve upon? Okay, so you gotta give me something that you're going to improve. Now, I don't want you to say something like, you know, I, I'm gonna eat more protein, or I'm gonna do better on my diet, or I'm gonna work out more, because that, that doesn't give you anything, anything concrete. It doesn't give you anything to really be accountable to, okay? So what you need to do is give yourself something specific. You're give me something specific, uh, but I want you to I want you to give me something that you're going to do, okay? Not just simply give me something. So for example, let's say you're having, um, you know, you're supposed to have 100 grams of protein per day. You're having say 70. So what what should you do in this case? Well, let's see if we can bump it up a little bit. Let's say 75 or 80 grams per day, okay? Let's say 80. So you're going to make it your goal to have 80 grams of protein instead of 70. You're going to you're gonna have set, uh, 80 grams of protein per day, okay? That's a very, very concrete um, goal on that. And, and you know what, just change one thing, improve one thing, don't try to improve a bunch of things, okay? Unless you want to or you feel like you can take it on, okay? All right, last thing, I don't, I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. All right, but at the same time, be honest with yourself and do everything that you can possibly do, okay? So find that happy medium. All right, my fitness pal. Um, I filled out a few days for you um, and uh, you know I don't normally fill this out so I knew where I was at but you know uh, it's always interesting for me just to fill it out and just double check on myself and um, of course I was right on the money okay I'm not saying that to brag it's just from like 20 plus years of doing this um, but I was, I'm very, very close to my macros. When I say very close, I'm about 98% to my macros. Um, and uh, if you all care to know, I have 3,200 calories in my diet per day. I have about 45% uh, of, of those calories are fat, 35% of those are protein, and about 20% are carbs. The carbs all come from um, just like bits and pieces that come you know, from things like nut butter, which I'll talk about in a second and um, all the other foods, with the exception being maybe berries. I have a little bit of berries in my diet, that's about it, for like, like a stronger carb source. Not saying you should do this, it's just what works for me. Anyways, point is, we're gonna put all the food in. By the way, when I put this up for you, everything that I ate, I just threw it in there, so like there are meals that are, like two meals are put together on some of these, and um, I think I put my lunch in as my breakfast, etc. So. But the point is, is this is everything I consumed for the day, okay? So if you're interested, you can take a look at that. I'll put it up on Slack. Um, but a few things I want you to note on this. The calories are not totally accurate on this one. It sums them up because it does do some rounding every time you enter a food in, okay? So it rounds to like the, the, um, the nearest five on calories. So like if you put it in a food and it says 93 calories, when it adds it up, it, it, it puts it to 95 calories. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Okay, so it's not super intelligent that way. The other thing I want you to take note of is when you put in your amounts of foods, um, you wanna make sure that, um, that it, it is reflecting the amount accurately, okay? So I did cottage cheese the other night. I went from, I took it out of ounces and I put it into cups. And so I had seven, I had seven ounces, and then when I put it to cups, um, it put in, you know, seven, it's, it kept the seven, so it went seven cups, and so obviously that was like an, ast an astronomical amount of calories and food. Um, so then I changed it, you know, to um, to uh, fluid ounces or whatever. And it, so when I changed it to seven fluid ounces, it still stayed as cups, even though I had changed it. 
So you just want to make sure that um, you know it that you're not making these mistakes when you're putting it in. Okay. So just double check on these. There's little glitches in this program. Okay. So just be aware of that. Doesn't happen often, but they are there. Okay. Um, all right. And on that note, you guys are going to send me by Monday. You're going to send me a screenshot of your day's food. Okay. So by Monday, I want you to send me a screenshot of one day of eating. Okay. Do you not take a screenshot? Okay. On the, I think you probably all do. I actually I don't even know if you can do it on an, on an Android. I know on an iPhone, if you hit the, the home button and the power button, you can take a snapshot, right? Of the screen. I'm not sure how you do it on an Android. Anyways, figure it out and send it to me, all right? So should be no more than two snapshots, your day worth of eating, and then just send it to me through Slack, all right? Okay, um, man, six minutes here. Okay, quickly, this is my favorite. This is um, nut butter, nut and seed butter, by the way, by Nuts for Nature, as you can see, and I put this on all my vegetables, especially my cruciferous vegetables, like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, and it makes them really good and really enjoyable. I love it, and you know, it's a great source of fat, okay? This is a great source of fat, so long as you're okay to have nuts and seeds in your diet, okay? So you can get at Costco, and um, we need to organize that, by the way, so. Should send. I should put this out on uh, the Slack community group so we can get some feedback about our group shop. Yeah. All right. Message of the day: Believe, plan, action, and achieve. Believe, plan, action, and achieve. It's really important that you believe in yourself. You should believe in yourself. I believe in you because it sounds cheesy, but the reality is, is the reason I believe in you is because you can all achieve this. You just have to. You just have to follow through with the next part of this message, which is plan, right? You just have to plan, okay? And then of course, with that planning, you have the plan, you have the workout plan, you just have to do it. Um, and uh, the diet is obviously a little bit more open, but you have your numbers, so you gotta start to take action, right? The third part, and put those things in, right? Take action on your workouts, take action on your food, start planning your food, put it into your app, do it the day before or a few days before, bulk make uh, your food. Stay away from foods that are, um, you know, what I call like not real food, okay? Like muffins and crackers and these types of things. Um, granola bars, cereals, things that have, you know, lots of ingredients in there and generally speaking, are engineered to be highly palatable and highly addictive, okay? And chances are they're probably low protein, okay? and they're high carb so they're just like basically what I'm saying is they're not gonna satiate you they're just gonna make you feel hungry okay so get in all your real foods okay fruits vegetables meats if you eat meat okay different meats like poultry fish red meat um, eggs cottage cheese you know you can have your dairy and stuff like that as well and get your fats in there okay you'll get enough fiber from your fruits and vegetables Okay, get all that in there that's going to help to satiate you and make you feel full so that you won't have cravings and eat like, um, I don't know, Reese's Pieces Buttercups, you know who you are. Okay, all right, so, or muffins for that matter. All right, you guys. All right, so believe, plan, achieve, uh, sorry, believe, plan, action, and you will achieve. Okay, believe in yourself, follow the plan, take action on that plan, put that action into motion. Follow through with it and you will achieve. All right, day six, I will talk to y'all soon. See you guys. Man, that was nine minutes?